Archaeologists in southern Egypt have uncovered a remarkable miniature sphinx statue, sporting a rare feature of a smiling face with two dimples. The artifact was found near the Hathor Temple in a tomb with two levels and is believed to potentially represent the Roman Emperor Claudius, making it a significant find. The unusual smiling expression on the Sphinx is not typically found in ancient Egyptian art, adding to the intrigue and mystery surrounding the discovery. In addition, researchers also found a Roman steel, stone slab, written in demotic and hieroglyphic scripts next to the Sphinx. Once fully deciphered, the stele may reveal the identity of the sculpted ruler, according to a press release by Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities. They also discovered a two-layer platform and a mud-brick basin from the Byzantine era. Emperor Claudius is a likely option as he extended Rome's rule into North Africa between 41 and 54 AD, which coincides with the dating of these finds. The Hathor Temple which is within the Dendera Temple Complex in Kina Province, located about 450 kilometers south of Cairo, is one of Egypt's best-preserved ancient sites. The smiling sphinx and artifacts were discovered within the walls of the complex. The Hathor Temple was constructed during the Ptolemaic Dynasty, which ruled Egypt from 305 BC to 30 before Christ, it was an important pilgrimage site in ancient Egypt, and many visitors would come to the temple to seek the goddess's blessings and perform rituals. Hathor was a complex deity, worshipped as the goddess of love, beauty, fertility, music, and dance. She was also associated with motherhood, childbirth, and the sky. The temple is home to the Dendera Zodiac, a celestial map that has been on display at the Louvre in Paris since 1922, the Dendera Zodiac is one of the earliest known representations of the constellations and is considered to be an important document in the history of astronomy. It shows the 12 zodiac signs, as well as other astronomical features such as the planets, the Milky Way, and the constellations of Orion and Sirius.